Hello, I am Chad Wansing, Net Backup Appliances Senior Systems Engineering Specialist for Symantec. Today, I'll be talking about configuration of the Net Backup 5200 series of appliances with Symantec Net Backup. The Net Backup 5200 series appliances are hardware storage devices designed to work in concert with the Open Storage API functionality of Symantec's Net Backup product to provide a seamless backup environment. The Net Backup 5200 offers the customer a choice of where to perform deduplication processing, either at the Net Backup client or the Net Backup 5200 appliance itself, as well as the ability to leverage the appliance as a disk as disk storage target by partitioning the disk storage on the appliance into advanced disk and deduplicated disk volumes. The Net Backup appliance is easily configurable from a standard web graphical user interface reachable at 192.168.1.1. To log in, we'll input the username of admin and the password of password. We will then select the button to set up the appliance. Here on our configuration page, we'll put in our information, our master server name, nbappl-master, our host name, we NB5200, the old root password, which was NetBackup, and we'll leave that the same. We won't be using link aggregation for this demonstration, but we will give it a static IP address of 169.254.128.128. And we'll save that one for later. Netmask of 255.255.255.0. Default gateway of dot one. Oops, dot one. We'll then move down, put in our DNS name. Dot one zero eight. Search domain. nbappliance.com. And the same for our name suffix. We won't be using uh, NTP with our demo environment today. However, it is highly encouraged to use NTP to make sure that uh, time synchronization occurs across the environment. Now, as we mentioned in our introduction, here's where we can set up for the appliance to use both deduplicated and advanced disk storage. So we'll give them a little chunk here say 30% go into advanced disk and we can change the names. We'll call this one NB5200 uh, let's see deduplication disk volume and NB5200 advanced disk volume. Scroll down and click next. We'll have a configuration summary screen here and we'll tell it to configure. Now the appliance at this point will go through the configuration. What will happen is, is the appliance will check in with the master server provided the appliance name has been configured as a media server within the net backup domain. The media server will authenticate itself to the net backup domain, configure its storage servers and disk pools for use so the ones we just set up with the deduplicated and advanced disk volumes. It will then create storage units, run test backups, conduct a test restore, and then report back here through the web GUI as to the status of the configuration. And so now we'll just wait a couple of minutes for our configuration to continue. And so now our configuration is just completed. We'll scroll down here and take a look at the results. So you can see the self-tests have passed. We've configured uh, all of the deduplicated disk volume as well as the advanced disk volume. 
And now we'll go into Net Backup, Admin Console, and see our results. So with that, we'll go into our Net Backup Admin Console, and we'll expand Media and Device Management and Credentials to see the foundational part of our appliance here, the storage server. And we see that we have a dedupe volume, uh, storage server entries for the dedupe volume, as well as the advanced disk volume. Moving up to the devices, we'll go to disk pools to see the disk volumes themselves. As you can see, we have one each for the advanced disk and the deduplicated disk. And next, we'll move up to our storage units. So these storage units created dynamically by the appliance. Again, one for the deduplicated volume and one for the advanced disk volume. Now that we've verified the configuration, let's go look at the activity monitor. So here in the activity monitor, we'll see the test backup, a test restore, both successful. Let's run some backups of our own though. So here I have a client backup policy and we'll set that to use the storage units that were configured by the appliance. And let's use our deduplicated disk volume. Now the backup selection for this is a very small folder I have on my desktop. As you can see I have it open here, just a couple of files. We'll run that manually. And we'll go to the activity monitor to watch the jobs take place. So our first backup is done now. And as you can see, we've got good throughput, uh, not much deduplication. It's the first run. So let's take another look at this. We'll We'll do another run and see how the second run comes out. Kick off another backup. We'll go back to the activity monitor and we'll watch this one go. And so now that our second backup is finished, we can see a bit better throughput and deduplication rates. Now we'll do a restore. So we'll go into our backup archive and restore GUI. We'll then select the source client. In this case, here's our client name. backup type we had configured was for Windows and we'll say OK. We'll browse down to the file we'd like to restore. Here in our updates folder pick a small file, click to restore and let's take a look here at our directory structures. You can see there's no additional directories below this Let's choose to restore this to a folder named Restore under its standard directory. We'll start the restore and instead of watching it from this interface, we'll actually go back to the activity monitor. And as you can see, the restore finished very quickly. We'll open up our updates folder. We can see that there's a restore folder inside here. Drilling down, here's our little text document. So now that we've covered backup and recovery, let's talk a little bit about managing the appliance through NetBackup. So as it is a media server, it's managed as any other media server. Obviously, there are a little bit, uh, a bit of additional 
properties we can watch. So in particular the storage servers. So for instance, we can see some of our properties about the storage server. And all of this rolls up into our disk pools. So the disk pools we can also watch for things like used capacity, available space, the raw size, usable size, and the high and low watermarks, as well as percent full and any comments we might have on here. Additionally, all of these management functions can be rolled up to NetBackup's Ops Center server as well for more of an aggregated view of the entire environment. Additionally, in case you didn't see, here at the activity monitor we have our deduplication rate uh, that's on a per job basis and reported directly in the administrative consoles of NetBackup 7.0 and higher. So in today's demonstration we illustrated the configuration of a NetBackup 5200 series appliance, uh, the implementation of that appliance with NetBackup, we ran some backup and restore jobs, and illustrated the ease of use with which the appliance integrates with a net backup environment. This completes the demonstration of the net backup 5200 series appliance.